All right, now when you're a teenager, one of the most important things in life is learning how to drive. And what better way to learn how to drive than a good old fashioned driver's education course? And driver's ed is pretty booty, there's no two ways about it. And what made it even worse is that the instructor insisted on teaching the class like we were a bunch of goddamn preschoolers. And here we have the car's wheels. Can anybody tell me what shape the car's wheels are? Uh, a fucking circle? That's right! And here's where the car's horn is! And the car horn goes, meep meep! I'm over there taking notes and shit, writing everything down like some kind of idiot. Meanwhile, you got dumbasses in my class raising their hands, asking questions. Yeah, you said the car horn goes, meep meep, but could it go honk honk instead? Why, yes, it sure can! Everybody write that down, it'll be on the test. So after two weeks of playing patty cake and learning the sounds a car makes, we finally get to take our written exam. And this exam was easy as hell. I mean, it was practically impossible to fail the damn thing. There'd be questions on there like, when a pedestrian's crossing the street at a crosswalk, do you A, yield to the pedestrian, or B, commit vehicular homicide? Ah, uh, yeah, is the pedestrian wielding a weapon of some sort, like a katana or a boomerang? So needless to say, the written exam was pretty pointless. I mean, your ass could be like a fucking Amish kindergartner from a different fucking planet, and you'd still have a good chance to pass the damn thing. So after that, it's time to do your drive times. And your drive times are when you get into a random stranger's car, and you drive around the city while they make sure you don't murder anybody. Now, my first instructor was this old guy who was somewhere between the ages of 80 and 1,000 years old, and he had the tendency to fall asleep every now and then. I'd be driving down the road, look over and see this old guy all knocked out with his mouth wide open and shit. Holy hell, did this guy just die of natural causes in the passenger seat? Don't you die on me, damn it! Oh, what happened? My second instructor was this lady that would have me drive her all over town so she could get her errands done. Like I was her own goddamn personal chauffeur. We would go to the bank, we would go to the laundromat, hell, we'd even pick her kid up from school at some point. Now, why she would have her kid in the back seat while some dumbass 17-year-old runs over curbs, I have no idea. But she was so comfortable with me, she would go into a store and just leave me and the kid in the car by herself. The kid would just be staring at me in the back seat and shit. Uh, hey there, champ. You don't have to worry about me. I'm not like a kidnapper or anything. Are you my dad? No, the fuck I'm not. I'm not a kidnapper, and I sure as hell ain't your dad either. So after eight hours of driving with a Civil War veteran and babysitting some lady's kid, I was finally able to take my road test for my driver's license. Now, I was a little nervous taking this test for two reasons. For one, I'm using my friend's shitty-ass Kia Rio, a car that looks like it was made out of garbage, and for two, I'm gonna have a police officer riding shotgun, breathing down my neck, making sure I don't do anything wrong. You better not screw anything up. If you fucking fart too loud, I'm gonna fail you on this test, and I'm gonna tase you in the face. So the test starts off, and I'm doing pretty well. I'm obeying all the traffic laws. I'm 10 and 2 it on the steering wheel like a good boy. But things start to take a turn for the worse when I go down a side street, and there's some idiot on a bike in the middle of the goddamn road, just taking his sweet-ass time. Sure is a nice day out today. A perfect day to fuck up some kid's driving test, that's for sure. So since my driver's ed teacher was an idiot and just taught us the sounds the car makes, I didn't really know what to do in this situation. So I start to panic and honk the horn. And I swear to God, the fucking horn on this Kia Rio's like, Meep, meep. See, I told you the car horn goes meep, meep. This dude looks behind him thinking there's gonna be a goddamn RC car behind him, but he sees me riding his ass instead. So what does this guy on a bike decide to do? Well, he flips me the bird, of course. Ah, oh, what a cheeky little bastard. So now at this point, I'm thinking, well, that's it. I failed the test. You can't have somebody flip you the bird during your driving test and expect to pass it. I look over at the police officer thinking he's about to drop kick me out of the driver's seat any minute, but surprisingly, he starts laughing. <laughs> wow, that guy's an asshole. That's something you're gonna have to get used to driving on the road. People flip you the bird all the time. So in the end, this dumbass on a bike didn't sabotage me, and I was able to pass my test. I got my license that day, and I rode off into the sunset with that shitty-ass Kia Rio. Meet me! me.